Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to series two of Life on Mars. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm ready to go back to the 70s. Uh, okay. I, I'm going into this now like I know what to expect. I know what to expect with Life on Mars and the way that they tell the story. Sam is in a coma in his real life and essentially he's chosen to stay in the 70s for now how this will now carry on i don't know because will we just keep going down the same route and then at the end of this series he'll get another chance to go back i don't obviously like don't tell me but I, that's kind of the way i will assume it's going to go i think things are going to progress with him and annie um but part of me thinks that at the end of this, he'll get the choice and he will stay with Annie. And that maybe we will see him go back. That maybe we'll see him visit his 2005 life as an old man to be able to say, like, what happened, if that makes any sense. If you are new here, my name is Mary Claire. Thank you so much for joining. Would love it if you decided to stay if not it's okay right grab your drinks guys let's get going Voice. You want to strike? Come on, hands up, you diggling. I got another shout. It seems though you brought my door down. This is just the beginning time. Who the hell is that freaky man now? Do you have a piece of evidence on the ground? Wait for forensics. What sort of man steps up behind a bloke on a bus? So they're all kind of like learning Sam's ways. Fast. So we preserve the scene. We dust for proof. We've seen it out there, Sam. People are scared. We put in someone from the we don't like your list. Well, I'm probably missing TV some dogger. So, you're the boy wonder. Inspector Tyler, sir. Chief Superintendent Harry Wolf. You're a lucky man, Tyler. You've got the best here. I weep with happiness <laughs> every morning, sir. <laughs> He's not so different from you when you were my DI, Gene. Minus the looks, of course. So, we've got problems. I love Gene's, like, deadpan face. He needs to feel safe, Gene. Let's get this party started. Their relationship is so good now because we're in the flow of things. It's just so oh, natural. Inside of two days. Oh my lord, take a look at this. Okay, fingertip search. Off you go, lads. Like I showed you. In a line, slowly. Wait, so is Sam Tyler? Now, hands up. Is Sam Tyler part of the change of the policing? Tyler. Tyler, this is Mr. Craig. Tony Craig. Sorry, I have too much chit down. Do we know each other? We will, one day. I love Mark Warren. No. We're here on business. I want to have a look around. Make casa. So casa. <laughs> I don't know how popular Mark Warren was back then, but now watching this, there's so many big dogs here in the acting game that are just incredible together. Somebody like Tony Crane does not rise so fast without getting blood on his hands. Yeah, 
What is happening? My case was sound. I saw I go to hospital and suddenly the whole thing falls apart. Mm. They must have thrown the case out for some reason. And now Tony Crane has found me. And he's getting his revenge. What, like, he's torturing me. 30 years before? You can't get that in from a padded cell. So he needs to put him, to, he needs to get him in prison now so that in the future he can't get Sam. Is that little girl going to appear again? Even so soon, Inspector. Help me tempt you, sister. My God. Your business, but he loves me. You have no idea where all this is heading. Nobody ever does. Well, yeah, exactly. You'd be thinking, well, nor do you. You ain't a time traveller. Eve. Mummy? No, she's running the business with him. She was the one who eventually decided to go with the police about him. So he beat her to death. I love him so much. I really want Sam to prove to Annie that he is genuinely telling the truth. What he's feeling in that, in, back in the noughties is so much stronger than series one, I think. Like, he's physically feeling it. Is that because he's more conscious in the 2005 bit? Sam does sound crazy now. You're gonna turn off my life support. Your DI is insane. Oh yes. He is totally loco. Go on, Sam. Get it off your chest. You know you want it. What's he on about, Sam? Sam Tyler. From the future, so my DI told you all this. No, actually, Mr. Crane told me this. Don't start playing games, Tyler, because you, my friend. Are clinically insane. Should I? Sam? <laughs> well, Gov, if you believe what Mr. Crane is saying about me, then by all means, release him. You have evidence to assemble a case and go to court. On the other hand, it would take a seriously disturbed individual to, to come up with such a bizarre excuse. 
I want you lot to know that today I was proud to be a part of this team. And the team's about to grow. I found our new DC. Bring him in then. what i am really impressed with this show like i know it's good but i mean for it to come back in a, in a new series i think is always a worrying thing because you sometimes it just goes downhill and maybe a second season isn't that great I didn't think they could tease us anymore and I didn't think that they could add any more questions but they have. Sam's feeling of being back in his body 30 years in the future is definitely stronger like the pain he was feeling that's my dog barking sorry was just a lot more intense. There was a lot more linking to him being in the coma like it kind of ran continually through that episode and the bloody phone ringing at the end and the person saying like not to tell anyone because I was actually going to say like I kind of hope that he does tell people because I think he could prove that he's from the future and now the fact that the number that phoned he's actually got who it was like when life on mars first started all the phone calls didn't link to anyone and now it it has come from hyde like what is hyde and also yes life on mars is only on here until the 6th of april so yay i hope it's on the bbc and annie's in the team i knew she would come in the team and i just really like the whole team they've just settled in you know it's just feels gene and sam just feel natural together and what was interesting actually was sam not going by the book to get that guy like put down so mm. it's just bloody great so good so good um that's it for today thank you so much for joining me and i will see you oh, i need to yawn sorry, sorry. i will see you next monday Ta -da.